So, Sir Theist still thinks that I made a logical fallacy by appealing to authority. I thought that in this video I would try to explain what the fallacy of appeal to authority is and what just appeal to authority is. There are differences. Now, most people appeal to authority because we not everyone has the time or expertise to do all the research themselves and when I say research I mean the you know collecting samples uh, looking at a fucking microscope in a telescope or whatever you know all that fucking shit an example on how appeal to authority can become a fallacy it is for example Charles Darwin says that evolution is true, therefore it must be true. That's the fallacy. Evolution is not true because Charles Darwin said so. Now, on the other hand, Charles Darwin said that evolution is true. I'm just gonna say that okay I trust you because you have done all the research and I haven't. Now that one was not a fallacy because it leaves it still leaves room for critique and debate. Now I said to one of Sir Thea's videos that if this stuff ever got to peer review I would go for it. I didn't make the fallacy because I'm not behaving like that if anything is in peer review it must always be true um, does it appear like I'm acting that way? no, I don't of course something is still up for debate and critique if it's get into peer review now of course you didn't say that I was uh, making a fallacy you first just stated that I was doing appeal to authority but apparently you don't think that there's a difference between the fallacy and the non-fallacy. So that's why I'm making this video. To clear that up. Now I want to read to you exactly what transpired between me and Sir Theist. Sir Theist says, LOL. <laughs> you believe something because of scientific authoritative verification. That's appealing to authority for your beliefs. That's not too hard to understand. <laughs> Treating me like a dumb fuck. Thank you. So I say, you are right. I am appealing to authority. And so are most people here on YouTube. But appeal to authority is not always a fallacy. If you say that my claims are invalid because I appeal to authority, then you are making an anhominem. Not sure if I pronounced that right. It sounds good. Ad hominem, hominem, hominem. If I had said, if this is in peer review, then it must be true. Then it would have been a fallacy. And Sir Theist says, Appeal to authority by definition is a fallacy. What's so hard about accepting this and admitting you messed up by saying what you said? And I just reply back, because it's not by definition a fallacy. You want to continue going back and forth with this? You know, yes it is, no it isn't. Yes it is, no it isn't. And apparently he wants to. He says, you'll find it among any list of all fallacies. And I just reply back. I know, but that does not mean it's always a fallacy. It depends how it is used. <laughs> Apparently, Sir Theist became totally fucking confused and replied with this. What? Okay, you're wrong because I'm right. How does that sound? And that is where I lost interest because what the fuck did you mean by that? 
did that have something to do with I uh, with my last comment? Thank you, Anna Lynn Sweden. <laughs>